I'm officially spooked. I don't know about this Atlas station. Makes me feel really bad. Also, uh, this is very dead space. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Oh, why did that door just open? It's leading me where it wants me to go. No, I don't like this. Oh no, don't lock that door. Ah! <laughs> God. It got me. <laughs> I was prepared for it. It still got me. I bet there's. There, I feel like there's loot in there. What? Oh no! Don't do that. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's fix the triggers. Go, 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 go. No, it's not gonna, not gonna do it. <laughs> I tried. Maybe there's a way into that room. Maybe not. <sighs> oh, I saw that. Saw that too. Oh, hey, look at that. A little randomization. Such a bad idea. David might even enjoy it. <sighs> People doing dumb things. Ooh, ooh, 1500 credits. I'll take it. Especially in this economy. I kind of feel like, um, a little spooked. <laughs> not gonna lie. Like, this is, I, this is not something I'm, I'm happy with. Arriving at level two. Are we gonna have, really? Get out. This is not the time, Kasumi. Are we gonna have like things attacking us? Ooh. Resetting elevator. Okay. Begin decomposition simulation. Summon to Arriving seven foot. At level two. Okay. Wait a second. Resetting elevator. I'm so confused. <laughs> what is going on here? Hold on. Summon to seventh floor. Arriving Okay, so it's at level two. Arriving at level five. Okay, we are definitely on level seven. Oh wait, I see another console. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Arriving at level four. No, that's not what I want. Is this one gonna take it back to five? Arriving at level seven. All right, we did it. I accidentally stumbled upon the. Oh, we're going to get attacked. For sure, we're going to get attacked. Oh, got all the shield off just with that one shot. That was beautiful. Let's go ahead and reload. Watch for drone. All right, let's charge. Please, please charge. Please charge. Okay. You don't want to charge. Still doesn't want to charge because I'm on cooldown. <laughs> Whatever. Stupid thing. Yeah. Oily. All right, down we go. Arriving at level six. Don't do this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't like this. Is not in Please choose this is like next Stop level horror. Please extinguish all cigarettes. This is a non-smoking I don't like this. <laughs> Hold on. We just got to take a moment to acknowledge that I, <laughs> that I opened the doors and you have all these geth that are attached to this like computer and Garrus without missing a beat, just bam. Or maybe it was Kasumi. I don't know which one it was, but one of them just without missing a beat just takes one out. A completely innocent geth. It probably just got back from, you know, the shops. Just like, you know, got its groceries. And hook back up to go back into, you know, the, the simulation and enjoy their day off. And just out of nowhere, elevator opens and pow, <laughs> just takes them out. Uh, you know, I appreciate it, but still. I tried, it didn't work for me. 
I'll take it. Ooh, heavy Why? skin weave. I need that. Accelerator offline. Serious injury may occur. That that ride on the elevator was not fun. It's like I I've told this story before. But in case you're jumping in for the first time, which actually a lot of people do, by the way, they, they, they trickle in through the series and totally fine. Get it. I, I tend to do the same thing. So I'm going to tell the story real quick. There is this, um, it's a casino hotel thing in Nevada that was where I was living, you know, when I lived in Nevada, it's in Reno, it's called the Atlantis. And it has this elevator with like, uh, it's glass paneled and it goes along the side of the building. I saw it like a computer thing, but I think it was just the door there. Um, it goes along the side of the building on the outside and obviously you get in on the inside. And um, it, I, I, have, I had stayed there once and uh, it was on like a trip with some friends. It was like when I was a, a teenager and we got into the elevator and it was one of those elevators that just moves slightly too quick where you go, it goes up and you're like, Ooh, I like this G force. Ooh, this is fun. You know, you kind of like lock your knees. You're like, this is, this is cool. But then when you go down, it feels like it's falling out from underneath you. And I hated that. I hated that feeling. It always felt so unsafe. Do not like that. And since then I've had a minor feel of fear of, uh, of elevators falling. And you know what? That, 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 that sequence is not cool. I don't like that. Okay. Look, just, just, just keep it. Uh, some animator had fun with that, but come on, just keep it on the right door. Jeez. Get ready. Don't be surprised if this button summons a reaper. <laughs> I hope it's all just like fine. It just turns everything off and we're just like fine. Oh, no, bad, bad, bad. It's just like, get me out of here. Do not leave me with this crazy woman. <laughs> uh. All right, we're going to destroy Rogue VI. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh, spooky. I love it. Oh, no. I don't, oh, I don't want to do this. Don't, don't make me feel bad about playing the video game. Come on. I don't like that at all. Poor David. Ain't no rogue VI, it's a person. Square root of Did I miss something 30. back there? Square root of is okay, 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 okay. Time on this project is running out. There are no options left. I gotta go look. I gotta look. There was an alternative way to go. Said that really weird. Put the a weird emphasis on that word. I don't know what happened there. His brain just was like <laughs> All right, that's fine. There was there was nothing over there. I, at least now I know. Peace of mind. It means a lot. Square root of 906.01 is 30.1. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. Time on this project is running out. There are no options left. How to get the guests attention? says hello. Eureka, David. You're a miracle worker. Interesting. What is that? I just, I didn't want to do that. Square root of 906.01 is 30.1. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. David, can you repeat my notes from Thursday's experiment? Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. David, please... Pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Would you mind repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment? Log 137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of geth obedience. End dictation now, David. 
Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. And how are you feeling today? Square root of 924.16 is 30.4. Earplugs would be good. <laughs> yeah, I get attacked. Uh, I don't like that. Is this a thing for me to loot? Did I already loot it? I think I did. I'm just like not even paying attention anymore. Oh, jeez. David, I want you to order the Geth to take a step forward. How does he do it? David is a mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. With his photographic memory, cross-referencing the meaning as a snap. He's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? I see no harm in finding out. Obviously, David felt like there was harm in finding out. Am I, am I able to go through these windows? Some door? Now I'm curious. I think I could just jump through those windows there, but, um, uh, let's find out. Yep. I don't know if I want to hurt these guys. They're just chilling there. They haven't attacked me. They ain't bad yet. Oh, now they're bad. <laughs> they blew my sh shield away real quick, didn't they? Huh, okay, guess up. Get. Get hubbed, capped. Some ah crap. I don't know. What's what's a good hub one? It's more more like the damage hub. No, that wasn't. It's also not good. I'm I'm not on it today with one liners. It's just not. It's not coming to me. The hub of pain. No. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's not. <laughs> I can't, I can't get, I don't got anything. My brain is just, it's not working. All right, credits. What do we got? Elevators? Is this going to be another weird thing where, oh, I see power cells. Let's get those. Get that, whatever that was. Ah, oh, palladium. Ah, goody. More useless resources. Warning. Elevator exceeds maximum weight capacity. Where's the elevator? Oh, it's this elevator. Okay, that's bad. Here we go. Get a good charge. I'm ready. Die, son. Really? That was the maximum weight capacity for that elevator? That's not a lot. You get like a big boy on there and it's done. It's done. Like the, the elevator's just not going to work. <laughs> Look, I, I, I assume the geths are kind of heavy. They are, you know, machines, but nothing like that. Come on. I know there's ammo around here. Where did I miss it? Is it this? Yes. Okay. I just want to stay topped off. So far, because it put me on my own, it's lowered the difficulty of the enemies to scale properly with me not having two companions. Totally cool with that. Love that, right? But, same time, if I run out of ammo for this gun, I feel like I'm going to reduce my lethality quite a bit. A word? Square root of nine to twelve point oh four is three point two. We're ready. Open a connection to the gas network. Hmm. What? David, no! Tell the guests to stand down. Quiet, please, make it stop. No, uh oh. No, nah, crap. I'm gonna fight through this, aren't I? Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Go back to the shotgun. Alright, come at me, nerds. Wait, what's that? Aha! Connections. Okay, I, I see the shield. Oh, I see it now. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Oh, why are we messing around with this? Come on. Let's... Come on, Zen. Let's... Let's just go... Oh, wait, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Swap weapons. That was that was oh crap. I'm so oh, I'm flabbergasted now. What am I doing? Hold the plug. Tell Vulcan Station to cut all power. It's too late. We've lost control. Okay. Was it? Oh, it's it's telling a story. 
What's this? Okay, I like this. This is kind of fun. Do I have, uh, I did have incendiary on, I think. I think. For David. Alright, how are we doing this? Is there gonna be more shields? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's linking here. Oh, reload, reload. Okay. More of this. I was kinda hoping just to nuke it, but I think it's um it's it's like a it's on a timer. Not on a timer, it's on a percentage base. I think the hurricane's gonna be best for this. Oh, where is it? There it is. Reload. No, come on, just one, one more time on that. I see, so we gotta not let it get to the wall, is what it is. Gotcha. I feel like I'm doing like a wow raid boss. Oh, I feel really bad for whatever's going on here. He just wants it to end. Oh my goodness. That's torture. Quiet. Please make it stop. Wait! Commander! I'm begging you. Don't do anything rash. You told me that David volunteered. By necessity. If I told you the truth, you would have shut me down and not him. It's not like I planned this. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. I saw his memory. He begged you not to do this. I was desperate. The elusive man doesn't broker failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. Did anything useful come out of all this? Yes. Despite the setbacks, we've proven the Geth can be controlled. Well... My work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons. My conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. Get a well cared for lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. No. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. Square root of 906.01 equals 30.1. What I've done to David is unethical. If he dies, it's unforgivable. Let me take care of him. Please. Quiet. Please make it stop. I don't think... Okay, this is a situation in which this is going to be... If this is going to give me Paragon points. It's going to give me Renegade points. If I wanted to play Renegade, I'd be like, let's do that. And I am playing Renegade, but I'm also playing a character that has their own um, motivations, and I think this would be what our Shepherd says. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! If you even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you, then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Yeah. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless. Square root of 912.04 
I mean, that's the thing. I, I mentioned this at the beginning of Mass Effect 2. Our, our Shepard does not... Does not trust Cerberus. She, by her very nature, is just using them as a means to an end at the moment. Um, but doesn't intend to continue using them, knowing that they're full well going to be a, a, a problem later on. And yeah, she's not gonna she's not gonna submit that poor kid to torture. Uh, Rogue VI was successfully shut down, but the test subject was taken to a non-Cerberus facility for care. While this is a considerable setback for Cerberus, Doctor Archer's research will be instrumental in devising a safer approach to controlling the gas. Um, barely any XP from that, but we did get uh, the the uh, weave, and I think that that's gonna be in instrumental to our. Um, our build that we've got going on. All right, 12K credits, stupid amount of palladium. I don't need any palladium or anything. <laughs> it's got so much. I bet you I have some. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Yeah, I should probably go debrief with him. I'm sure I've got some messages too. Uh, let's, um, uh, let's, let's go debrief first and then I'll run my upgrades. I think that's the way to do it. And then we'll go check our messages. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Okay. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. I thought this was a debrief. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector's ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Hmm. Let's go find us a collector ship. Yeah, we're not doing that right now. I hope not. What? Are, is it really just throwing me in? Why does it keep doing this? Why does it keep putting me in random missions that I don't want to be in? 